Okay, so I've picked up a new hot water tank. Um, I figured that this one is a bit too big. This one is 315 litres. The new one I bought is 125. Um, I picked it up for 100 bucks. Not too bad. Um, yeah, this one's only getting to about 35, 40 degrees. But you can see how much it actually has to heat. It's a pretty large tank. Where well, this one's a lot smaller. So if I put the same element into it, it should get as hot as a normal house and then um, I can mix it with the cold water and then it should even, leave, even last a little bit longer. So what I've, what I've done is I've unhooked it all, I've drained all the water out. Um, just this bottom outlet, I plugged the hose into it, fed that outside so all the water run off. Um, also with this one, since it's smaller, on the platform I built, I'm going to surround it in a box and fully insulate it so it holds the warmth because um, where I'm living gets down to probably minus five to seven in the winter and I um, want to keep as much as the, the warmth inside this container as possible. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna work on that. I'll keep you updated as I go. So that's it sitting there. Gonna put um, put a bit of timber board running up to the height and close it all in. And then I'm gonna um, put this OSB on the side and drill a couple of holes to fit into the inlet and the outlets. Um, connect up the hot water heater element and then um, it should be tucked away there nicely. Yeah, like this is the old one. And that's the other one. So there's the update of the frame I've made. Now I'm going to put some OSB lining around each of the edges and then I've um, got some of this silver insulation I um, don't know what it's called exactly it's like a roll of insulation, it's got one reflective side so I'm going to put the re reflective side on the inside to keep all the heat in and um, yeah, should be good so I'm not too far off it's going to look nice and closed in a box where this, um, this other one was just sitting in the open there and yeah, it should work pretty well. So there we have it, I started insulating the box a bit. Just use that silver wrap. I've done one here. All I've done is use the stapler, stapled it on. And then once I lift it up into here, I screw it on from the inside or the outside, depending on where it sits. So yeah, pretty much all good. Um, just gonna get this other side on. Not gonna do the top and the front yet. Um, I'll do those after because I want to get it heating because, um, yeah, I don't want to have cold water tonight, so at least it'll be a good test for it. So I'll get that panel in, sit the water heater um, tank in, and then um, plumb it all up and um, see how it goes. Okay, so there's the box partly built. Got it in, I've turned the, um, the water on to fill it up. Just been checking around for leaks which um, I haven't found yet. And um, yeah, it should be good. So the idea of this box is to insulate it so it stays warmer. When the temperature drops down in the, the shed, it doesn't drop down the temperature of the water tank too much. So the idea of this reflective stuff is to keep the, the warmth in. And I'm gonna wrap um, that wall insulation all around here as well and um, fully enclose it. So currently it's running. Um, you can see auxiliary one's on. So then it turns on and off as it needs. Um, I also installed the Whizbang Junior. Uh, I'm still trying to get that 100% sorted. But the idea of that is so I can monitor how many amps goes in and out of the battery bank, which then it can show my state of charge. So currently my state of charge is 100%. And um, yeah, hopefully it, hopefully it works out well. My fingers are a bit dirty from the, the water tank. But yeah, I'll give you an update later on um, when I fully enclose this, but that will do for now. That was the main thing I wanted to get done. Um, any questions, let me know and I'd be happy to answer. Thanks for watching. So I turned the, the tank on. We've got all this black um, or brown water. 
it actually clogged the head. So down here I've got um these nozzles got blocked and I was wondering why there was no um no pressure coming out of here. So what I'm doing now is just letting it run for a bit, clean out all that um, brown dirt. It was a lot darker than this, so it's actually working. Um, and that'll just give the tank a really nice clean out.